Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I'm a 22 year old college student and this week has been pretty busy. So I wasn't able to get a video out earlier this week because of classes. Um, I've said before that I'll be graduating soon and Friday, a not April, May 13th is going to be my last day of my classes and I end off my college career with um, my class is being aerodynamics and automated control systems and I'm super excited to say after those classes that I will be done with classes for now. Maybe maybe there'll be something in the future, I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited to be saying that after tomorrow I will be a graduate. Well, after tomorrow I only have graduation and then I'm a almost a full-fledged engineer, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm a 22-year-old college student, and I recently started my cash stuffing journey to pay off my student loans as fast in an, and in as reasonable time as possible. And I've started documenting my journey on YouTube, and this is where we are for now. So in this video, we are going to be just focusing on these three items so we can go ahead and move everything else out of the way. Oh, before I do that, I can go ahead and describe what these are. This is my, it used to be my 100 envelope challenge. I was talking with a friend and we kind of came up with something for 52 envelopes. And that's going to be in the summertime when we're both able to actually start it. So I will have two challenges going soon. But for now, it's just a 50 envelope challenge. And this is my sinking funds binder. Um, Big Blue is her name. But these two will be stuffed um, in my next video when I do my challenges and my sinking funds and my long-term savings and such. So we can go ahead and put these to the side. And if you want to check that video out, uh, you can go ahead and watch my upcoming video, which will be coming out very soon. Not sure when, because I do still have finals and I do still have my senior design project. And although it's wrapping up, I just want to make sure that we put our best work forward. So obviously that takes priority over everything else for now. So in this video, we are going to be just focusing on these three items so we can go ahead and move everything else out of the way. Oh, before I do that, I can go ahead and describe what these are. This is my, it used to be my 100 envelope challenge. I was talking with a friend and we kind of came up with something for 52 envelopes. And that's going to be in the summertime when we're both able to actually start it. So I will have two challenges going soon. But for now, it's just a 50 envelope challenge. And this is my sinking funds binder. Um, Big Blue is her name. But these two will be stuffed um, in my next video when I do my challenges and my sinking funds and my long-term savings and such. So we can go ahead and put these to the side. And if you want to check that video out, uh, you can go ahead and watch my upcoming video, which will be coming out very soon. Not sure when, because I do still have finals and I do still have my senior design project. And although it's wrapping up, I just want to make sure that we put our best work forward. So obviously that takes priority over everything else for now. So I moved everything back in frame and I recently got a new binder and this is, I mean, you'll see it in a little bit, but today we are stuffing part, well, yeah, part of my income from my part-time job. And this part-time job is actually the job that I will be working once I graduate. So this is my big girl job, but since I'm still uh, a full-time student, it's part-time for now. So I have $590 
from this paycheck and we can first see sorry about all of the um car noises the city sounds you gotta love it um this is my variable expenses uh little pouch and it has my mini cash envelopes in here as well as an envelope for my receipts i have yet to scan these into fetch like i said busy week so i will be scanning these in before i clear this envelope out but i have a decent amount of change and i will just uh put this in a little jar somewhere later i do have to find a jar so for now they'll just slide back in but this week has been very busy so for me as a student i kind of found out that the last two weeks of classes and finals week i do tend to spend more because i have a ton of things going on at once and it's a lot easier for me to be able to like go out and order something instead of uh try and make something at home because i don't have that time to prep the food to cook to clean up so for me it's just easier to actually go somewhere else to eat usually it's like a pizza so it'll last me like a day or two but i think all of these except one is empty so eating out obviously empty uh, it's week 10, my last week of classes, so that's expected. Uh, car gas, empty as well. Groceries, empty. What is Explore, that is empty. I think this is the one, spending. Surprisingly, a dollar. So, everything has been spent in these little envelopes except one dollar which is expected, which I mean, I was expecting because last week of classes, I do tend to spend a little bit more during this time. With that being said, I did increase my eat out budget just to be able to like plan ahead for me eating out because I know it's gonna be finals week and I'm gonna be super busy. So instead of, I don't know, stuffing Christmas or, something uh that money's just going to be going towards eating out so this one dollar not sure what to do with it for now i will just set this off to the side and in here is our short-term savings envelopes as well as my fixed expenses which are kind of acting as savings for now for when I move into my future apartment. And it's where my, like, after I go to the bank, I just chuck it in here so that all of my things are in one spot. But it's a lot, don't let this fool you. It's a lot of fives and tens. There's no fifties because um, for me, it's easier to have it in twenties and such. Um, I mean, to count. So today we will just be stuffing our variable expenses in here. And part of our short-term expenses or short-term savings, which is gonna be travel, family, and membership. So I can bring those up to the front, put these back in here, put the money to the side. And we're losing light fast because the week is busy and this is my brain break. So uh, we can go ahead and count and make sure that we do have 590. This is my bill breakdown. Like I said, no 50s, but we can go ahead and just divide these up. So ones we should have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six,
12, 13, 14, 15, which is correct. Fives, we should have 17 of them. That should equal, whoa, that is not right. That is not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That is, uh, I'm getting my degree soon. Hmm, I don't know about that. Should be 85. Okay, so we have 85 and fives. Tens, we should have 170. Might have to turn on a light soon, it's getting really dark. Uh, we have 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170. We should have 15 20s equaling to 300. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Perfect. Go ahead and move these up a little bit. I'm going to turn on a light. It does seem a little bit dark in here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so please don't be upset. So I may have fibbed. We are not gonna be stuffing this, but I can show you what's in here because this has my fixed expenses and my long-term savings. So this will not be getting stuffed today. It will only be these two. So if you wanna see this get stuffed and Big Blue and my savings box, challenge you can go ahead and check out my next video but i can just go ahead and show you what's in here so i got this binder from amazon and i absolutely love the color i got it i think in burgundy so i have like i said my my fixed expenses which are acting as the savings for now so that's rent i have student loans emergency savings car maintenance medical there's one more hiding in behind new car, car payments, and a payback, which I use to put in my cash whenever I have to use my card when I don't have my envelopes on hand. So let's go ahead and start with our variable expenses envelopes. Okay. This is flipped. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all out of order, but we can put our receipts to the side. Groceries is gonna get 35, which is in, what in the world are these lines doing? Um, if you want to know, if you want to know what the lines on the side means, uh, let me know and I can go ahead and explain that. Um, but for now, they just mean what denominations I'm putting in the envelopes themselves. Groceries is going to get a 10, 20, and a 5. So 35. And since it's going to be finals week really soon, I expect to not like completely deplete this. So I am expecting a little bit of money to be left over. Just moving this out of the way so I don't keep knocking it over. I want her to grow big and strong and it, she can't really do that if I keep knocking her over. Um, car gas is getting a... Uh, $35 as well.
think same thing can be said with card gas. Finals week, I'm not gonna be going into work. I'll just be working remotely and I don't expect me to be driving a ton during finals week. So I should expect some, um, some remaining money. Eating out. This one is gonna get 50. Like I said, finals week, pretty busy. I do not want to cook. So I'm budgeting a little bit more than I usually would. Which is two 20s and a 10. My spending is also gonna get a 20, which is gonna be in two 10s. I hope you guys like chatty videos because I feel like I'm going to be chatting for quite a bit or these videos become really chatty for me so if you do not like that I apologize maybe I'm not the cash stuffer for you but I just have a lot of uh, fun things in my life going on that I that I like to share explore is going to get a 20 and two f wait tens and two fives. 10, 20, five, and 30. So like I said, my last classes of this college career is gonna be aerodynamics and controls. And those are the two classes besides my senior design that will actually have an exam. So, I shouldn't be too, too swamped uh, when it comes to actual finals, but let me tell you, aerodynamics is kicking my butt. Uh, the class, if um, you're not 100% sure, aerodynamics focuses on, I guess, how air behaves as a fluid around like airplanes, wings, air foils, how do we get stuff to go faster than the speed of sound, um, and stuff like that, but it's kicking my butt, my goodness. But I did pass last week's exam, which with a pretty decent score that I'm very proud of. Um, don't know why I wanted to tell you that. Um, I guess I'm just really excited because it's like, it's my second to last class of my college career. And then I have controls, uh, which is automatic controls, which is, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain, uh, what systems are we able to use and implement with um, certain controllers, so like, my professor loves to use the cruise control examples. So yeah, stuff like cruise control, literally anything, anything that would be controlled by something else would be automatic control system. So that's, it's very exciting the last two classes. And then obviously my senior design, which I love the group to bits and I absolutely loved the project itself. Um, it's very hectic. If you want to know about it, let me know. If you want to know about my senior design, I mean, let me know. I absolutely love it and I can talk about it for hours and hours and hours. But in this one, you only get a few minutes. <laughs> I'm also thinking of doing like, well, I have clips of me throughout the week. Um, kind of just documenting, I guess my last my last few weeks in college because I know that I would like to be able to look back and just see how I was and to see how far I would have grown in like two years, let's say, or even like six months. Um, so I will say that video will be coming out soon. Not sure when, but it will be coming out and that's going to be on this channel as well. And I will also still be doing my regular cash stuffings. So, but back onto the topic. 
Oh, now it's stuffing short-term savings. We are going to be stuffing travel, family, and memberships. I had moved um, new car into, where did I move it to? I moved it into my new binders, so that's why I just tucked it right back in here. Uh, travel is going to be getting 65 this time. So 20, 20, 40, 60, and a 5. So my family is going to be taking a trip to uh, celebrate my graduation along with my brother's birthday. And I'm saving up some spending money for my brothers and I when we do go. So in travel, we have now... 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 65, 70. So we have 170. I don't know if you saw. It looks like someone just like took a bite out of this 20. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll still love it. So that is travel. Family is also getting $30, 20 and a 10. This is also going to be spending money. I guess the difference between travel and family is family is 100% dedicated to like to be spending money. And family, I guess, would or travel would, I guess, be like um, to help my parents with any like hotel fees or anything of that sort, you know. So, family got 30, now it has 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. That's so exciting. Maybe I'll also do like a small little video of the trip as well. Just to see, just to be able to look back on it. Uh, memberships is getting a five. Oops. Oh no. And these this money will be going towards a rock climbing membership. I absolutely love to rock climb. Uh, not so much falling, but I do love climbing it. So it has 25 and 30. And I am planning to be getting my membership after I come back from the trip because I don't want to pay for a whole month's membership and not me and not be there for a good chunk of it, you know? Um, you know what? Let's all, let's just stuff the rest of these as well, just to get this this pouch done. Cause I, cause otherwise the other one's just gonna be really long. Okay, so these are the fixed expenses, or part of the fixed expenses. We're just gonna put this to the side make these look a little nicer and off we go so apartment is gonna get 20 and two tens 10 and 20 so it now has 20 30 45 6 Wait a minute. <laughs> so sorry. 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 47.
Electric is getting two fives. And it now has 20. Parking is going to get a 10. So it has 10, 20, 5, 6, 7. Internet is getting a five as well. And it has its label now. Woohoo! And it now has ten in total. So I don't remember if I had mentioned before or not, but the fixed expenses are acting as savings for now because in the last stretch of school, and this is saving up for an apartment. And they are getting pretty thick. <laughs> so, hmm, maybe I can do a bill swap. And maybe at the end of May, because I don't want these to be extremely, I mean, I do want them to be really thick, but um, I'd want these to be in the bank, just so that, um, for me, it's a bit more peace of mind to know that the money is in a safe place and accruing, um, I guess, like interest or something. So this fixed expenses and short-term savings has been stuffed and my variable expenses, it's gonna help me battle finals week. So, I mean, wish me luck on that. And if you wanna see me stuff the rest of this, which goes into this beauty of a binder and big blue. And finally, my savings challenge box. Go ahead and watch my next video. But for now, I do appreciate you staying and watching just a chattier video. But if you have made it to the end, leave me a comment down below and let me know something that you are excited to do in the summertime or what you like to do in really nice weather so thanks again for stopping by and watching this really long video i hope it didn't bore you too much thanks for your time and have a good day